Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another daily vlog. I'm currently in the Grand Floridian parking lot. It is amazing. It's beautiful, but I'm here to check out the Christmas decorations inside the Grand Floridian. We're gonna check the inside out inside decorations, not the outside ones. Well, they might have some outside ones like Christmas trees, so we'll give a look at that. But we're gonna go inside and check out everything that Disney has offered at the Grand Floridian. Here comes the monorail. <gasps> Uh, da, da. I hope you guys are enjoying the series when I go to hotels to check out the hotel decorations. So if you guys are enjoying this series, go ahead and thumbs the video up right now and comment down below where you guys want me to visit next. This is one of the highly commented, commented hotels that you guys wanted me to check out. So I'm here and we are going to go check out the Christmas decorations. So we're going to be on the right hand side first. This is in the main lobby. This is the DVC building. We're going to go in here and we're going to check this out real quick. This isn't the main building. I wonder if they do have decorations. I'm pretty sure they will, you know. It's the Grand Flair and they ought to have Christmas decorations at every single building. Like always, comment down below if you guys have ever stayed at the Grand Floridian. I wish, I wish I was as boozy to stay at the Grand Floridian. And it looks like we got some reefs to greet us here as you come to the one and only Grand Floridian. Check it out. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Huh. Have you been over the main lobby already? I have not. That customer was just telling me that this isn't the main lobby, but they do have some decorations in this lobby. They have some Christmas trees. And you're hit with the amazing Christmas music. Huh. I've actually never really been in this lobby ever before. So there's not really too much decorations. Oh, this is really fancy. There's really no decorations over here. This is about it. Oh, you can play chess? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so now I see what he's talking about. There's hardly any decorations in this lobby. This is my first time actually in this building. There is a fountain with penguins. <laughs> That's cool. Look at the ground though. Wow, this place is so fancy. Honestly, it'd be so cool to stay at the Grand Floridian. I feel like a king right now, but we're gonna head on out. I thought there would be more decorations there, but there's really no decorations inside the DVC building at all, which is kind of funny because if you remember when we went to Wilderness Lodge, they had tons of decorations inside Boulder Ridge and inside their main lobby. So I kind of expected there to be decorations in there, but there wasn't. And as we're walking here, they've got their reefs just, you know, randomly put up here. It's a little bit chilly out here today, so that's why I've got a jacket on again. It's pretty cold out here in Florida. It's 60 degrees, and I know it's not cold because it's probably where you guys are. It's probably like 20 degrees, but it's cold here, and I kind of enjoy it. It's really nice. So if you guys are coming in December, make sure you guys do bring your jackets because it does get cold here in Florida. You can hear the pool party going on over there. The Grand Floridian is quite stunning. It's really beautiful. It's really, really nice. Here's the monorail again. Hey. I don't think I'll ever stay here, but I really wish, like, you know, it'd be so cool. Like, it's just too much money, you know? It's like, so much money a night. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe like one day if I win the lottery, I'll stay here. But like, if you guys have, please comment down your thoughts and opinions on it. Is it, does it live up to the expectations? Comment down below right now. There's some decorations right there outside. Pretty much like every hotel. I heard they have like a 58 foot Christmas tree inside this lobby and then a life size gingerbread house. So we're gonna see, we're almost there. We are almost there. Here's these decorations. It's got pink, it's blue, it's purple. It's pretty grand. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome to the Grand Floridian during Christmas. Oh, there is something going on right now. It's like a big meeting. Oh, it smells so nice in here. But look at that Christmas tree, you got two Christmas trees. Pink, blue, bird cages. It smells wonderful in this lobby. There's the main Christmas tree. And we also have the same identical one over here to the left. Wow. Check this out. There's like some meeting going on over here. I don't know. They're like taking a group picture. But look at that tree. Look at that tree. Wow. Oh, they actually have decorations on the railings, too. It's a huge tree. I don't know which one is bigger. It might be the same size as the wilderness is, but I feel like the wilderness is just a little bit bigger. Now, here's the entrance, and directly to the left of the entrance, there's this 
ban area. I don't really remember it being here because it actually used to be up top. So I think this is where they relocated it when it used to be up top. If you recall, it used to be up over there. So I think they relocated it to downstairs now because they did have they do have that new bar. I can't believe I didn't notice that, but it used to be up there and now it's down here. And there's like some family reunion going on. <laughs> Yikes. It's a big family reunion. Stay up there. <laughs> oh, there's Christmas trees up there too. I think there's definitely like some family reunion going on right here. But let's keep an eye on this Christmas tree. And there's the gingerbread house. Holy smokes, that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, okay. Focus, Kyle, focus. All right, here's the Christmas tree. There's a swan and dolphin little ornament right there. Here's a look at the tree, because I know you guys like to look at the ornaments and whatnot on the tree. It goes all the way up. There's like little bird cages and everything. Check this out, though. This is crazy. This is bigger than any other gingerbread house on property. Can you buy some of that? Is it like tasting? Yeah. Are they? Oh, they must have made one. That's what they did. This thing is ginormous. Wait, 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 wait. You can actually go inside the gingerbread house and buy stuff. That's what this line is for. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. They're open 9.30 to 10 p.m. And you can buy basically what I just showed you on, <laughs> on that menu right there. Wow. We're gonna make our way around over here to my right because that's where they have the ingredients and what it took to to make this gingerbread house. This is crazy. Someone could live in this house. Wow. Look at it over here, there's a Disney wedding. Someone got married today. There's the photographers, there's the bride. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Here's the house over here. Oh my gosh. Look, they have like miniature, like those little miniature Christmas things there. I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see. And that's where they're buying the stuff. That's insane. All right, to my right I see the ingredients. Holy smokes, they took over 1,000 pounds of honey, 140 prints of egg white, 60 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spice. That's just crazy. It's so cool though. We're gonna go up top so you can actually see how big it is. But like, I'm all the way zoomed out, so it's it's just a huge gingerbread house. Here's the front of the gingerbread house. It was established in 1999, if you were wondering. <laughs> this is crazy. So if you guys are on vacation, you don't make it over here. Oh, it smokes? Are you kidding me? What? If you guys don't make it over here, I got you guys covered. It's a long line too, just for like gingerbread cookies and whatnot. But I'm assuming this is like one of the only places you can get this on property because I don't see any of that in the parks. Yikes, let's go up top real quick. Here's the look of the gingerbread house upstairs. It's really cool to see. If I remember, I feel like this used to be over there a couple years ago, I could be mistaken, but like, it's just really cool to see. It's like, they made that, that that's edible. <laughs> Obviously not anymore, probably because you know, there's chemicals and went on there, but like, it's just really cool. I don't really know. I need you guys to comment down below. Grand Floridian or the Wilderness Lodge? Obviously the Grand Floridian has a way bigger gingerbread house, but the Wilderness Lodge does have a really big gingerbread house too. I, I just feel like I'm gonna be biased, I'm gonna say the Wilderness Lodge because I used to work there, you know, but like, the Grand Floridian is, is no joke either. Like they have the uh, decorations up on the railings as well. It's really beautiful. I think my vote is gonna go towards Wilderness Lodge, but that's my bias opinion. So comment down below, what do you guys think? Remember when Jojo and I went to the Enchanted Rose when it opened, let's see how busy it is. Not too busy, but I think they're pumping like pine smell. It smells really good in here. It smells like Christmas, wow. The one thing I don't like about this bar is just it's really, really expensive, but that's obviously to be expected because we are at the Grand Ford Inn, but it's a really nice bar. It's a nice place for a date night or something. Oh, this is new. They have multiple roses here. Hi. Uh, no one. There you happy I did it. I did it. I did the guest on. You're welcome. You're welcome. The Grand Floridian really does smell amazing. 
It smells really good in this place, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> it smells, oh, it's got engaged. Wow. That's cool. Woo! I wonder if I caught that on camera. I was probably just a second late. <laughs> what a magical moment. Congratulations to the new couple. I can't believe I almost caught that on camera. <laughs> That's cool. Looks like upstairs they also have the identical trees to the ones that are actually downstairs as, as well. So those trees are downstairs. But dude, this place smells so good. It smells amazing. Thumbs the video up, by the way, guys. Thumbs the video up and comment down below where I should go next. Here's some other decorations that they have on the stairs going down. Oh, these are really nice. It's really pretty. I like that touch. And it continues all the way down, down, down. <laughs> Just peeking inside the Grand Floridian Cafe. It looks really nice with the decorations hanging above. You see this? It's very pretty in there. I've never eaten inside there, the Grand Floridian Cafe. Have any of you, comment down below if it's any good. Maybe I should check it out. But everybody, that is gonna be it for today's, whew, excuse me, daily vlog. If you guys are new in here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video. Where should I go next? Where should I go next? I have actually haven't been here during Christmas ever and I'm used to just seeing this grass be green, but it's dormant now because it's cold out. But um, I've also kind of come to the conclusion that Disney only basically decorates the main lobbies and not outside, which kind of makes sense too because you know it'd be really expensive to decorate all the way out here and whatnot. But um, yeah, comment down below. What do you guys like better, the Wilderness Lodge or the Grand Floridian? I really still think the, the Wilderness Lodge wins in my opinion, but comment down your thoughts like always down below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog. And like always, bang, bang. Yeah.